Hello guys, hope for a while and welcome back to my channel. Now today we are going to be starting my career mode in Farming Simulator 2019. So we are going to be starting this save game. We are going to be a new farmer and we are going to be going uh, well with the map Ravenport. And this is my character and here are all the mods I am using. If you want to see them you can pause the video at any time. But anyway, let's get started. And I will see you when we load in. So guys, let's start at Ravenport. So welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. We don't need to because we've already done the tutorials and you would have seen in past videos. So looks like a lovely farm. We've got a couple of fields there. Three fields there actually. One over there. And first of all, what I'm gonna do is sell off some of these buildings that we don't need. For instance, this building, you can't get into it. It's just a waste of space. You can't even do anything. So first we're going to go to my garage. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. And again, we're not gonna sell the farmhouse. We're gonna keep that. But that's the only thing we're gonna keep, as well as the shed. But we're gonna sell this farm grain garage. Oh, garage maybe. You can't store anything in the farm shed. You can't store anything. Farm old barn, doesn't really store anything. Farm storage, doesn't store anything either. And farm stable, doesn't do anything. We're also, we're gonna keep the shed and the farmhouse. Oh, we're also gonna sell the farm shack. But we're gonna sell the large grain silo. Um, yep, and we're gonna get all the money for everything inside of that, so we're gonna sell that. Made like tons of profit there. Then we're gonna sell, um, what is it we're gonna sell? I think we're gonna sell all of this machinery. We're gonna take some of this stuff to the shop so we get more money for it. So I think first we're going to take the Fiat um, with this seed drill over. So where is the Fiat tractor? Uh, it's over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach it from this trailer. But it's not even connected. It's a nice old tractor, but it's rubbish. There's no point in keeping it. So, we are, I think, gonna connect it to a, a one of the front weights. And then we're also gonna connect it to the seed drill. Actually, I may as well just take the, I may as well just take the case and sell everything that this case has. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drive this over, but I'm uh, not quite to the shop quite yet, because in the drill, the drill has seed in it, and we can make profit from the seed in the drill. And there you go, we can see a pallet of seed is there. And now I'm gonna take all of this over to the shop, get it sold, including the tractor, because there's no point in having two identical tractors and also I'm planning on buying another tractor, so everything's good for now. So I'll see you when we get to the shop. Right, so guys, we have arrived at the farm shop. And the reason we're not selling it at our farm, but at the farm shop is because we can make a bit more money. I think it's like 10% more or something if we sell it at the farm shop. So I'm just gonna get out my tractor um then gonna come over here so we're going to sell the front weight yep and then we're gonna sell the tractor then we're gonna sell the drill and there we go now i'm just going to travel back to my farm so here we are i am back at my farm so now the next things we are going to go and sell um, is the Fiat tractor and this plow cultivator plow cultivator yes it's cultivator but you see this uh, we've got two identical tractors but if I was to sell um, this tractor it was seven if I sold it now, it would be 73,000. But because I sold it at the shop, I made another 10 grand because it was 70, 
uh, 83,000, sorry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the Fiat up to the pla uh, the cultivator, and I'm gonna go get the Fiat and the cultivator sold as well. So first of all, I need to disconnect from the, oh, dis disattach. There we go. Just gonna drive away from that. Pop out my tractor. And then get into the Fiat. I like it, it's a nice old tractor. But it's not good for the farm. There's just no point in having it. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna connect to the plow. Hopefully we don't need a front weight. There we go. Looks like the fear is holding up. Yep, that's all good. So I will meet you at the shop. So guys, I have arrived back at the shop. Oh look, there goes the train to our right. Look, the train, it's a train. But now I'm gonna to go sell this lovely Fiat 1300 with the um, cultivator on the back. I'm now going to sell this, there you go. And we're also gonna sell this. And now we're gonna travel back to my farm. Right, so guys, now we are back at the farm. My next job is to sell the combine harvester. So let's get in this New Holland, attach the front header, back it up, and I will see you at the shop for the final thing we are selling. So guys, with the final piece of equipment we are selling, the combine and the header, we are just going to go to the sell point where we can sell this just a bit of a tight squeeze here can we fit through here with my insane driving skills I think so yes we can so I'm just gonna slow it down bring it into here just back it up a bit oh. And there we go, our beautiful New Holland TX32. It's not actually that beautiful. So now we're going to sell this, sell the combine, yes. And we're also going to sell the header. And you see, now we're on 664,000 pounds. So now I'm going to, again, fast travel back to my house. And now we're back at my house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of, um, I'm going to add some stuff in. But I just need to move this trailer first because the trailer is in the way and I want to put something there. There we go. Going to my case. Now I'm just going to move this tractor and trailer out of the way. Just over to here. There we go. That is good. And now I'm going to do... Well, not some terrain editing, but adding some stuff in like silos so with a mod i downloaded uh, we're gonna get the small multi-fruit silo and what this small multi-fruit silo uh are you serious i just gotta move the trailer even more oh there we go that should be fine so what this multi-fruit silo allows you to do is a regular silo like this small grain silo will hold Bar wheat, barley, oat, corn, canola, grass, soybean, sunflower, potato, and sugar beet. But the multi-fruit will hold all of that, plus straw, chaff, hay, silage, digestate, pig feed, literally anything, even lime. So what I'm now going to do is I'm gonna buy this multi-fruit silo. There we go. So there we go, we have bought our lovely grain silo. The red fill marks there but i'm just going to turn that off because we don't need it and now the next thing we are going to buy or that i'm going to buy is um is in miscellaneous and it is a multi uh, multi silo so what it is is it's basically where is it i just need to zoom in on this it's basically it's basically small silos that allows you to buy stuff like fertilizer, 
and all of that much much cheaper than you get it from the shop it does cost like I think six grand originally but it's definitely worth it like definitely there we go no terrain editing needed and we will put it there so there we go now we have this and we can fill up all our tractors from this and put lime and stuff into it and fertilizer and seeds and now the next thing we're going to add is another miscellaneous item it is a pressure washer just because no farm is complete without pressure washer and we'll buy that there no terrain editing needed for that either right by well over this side there is our pressure washer and wash down all our equipment with that and finally what i'm going to buy is a toolbox so we can fix up our machinery um when we're back here so it's a small mod for toolbox uh we're going to rotate that around and i think we're going to put it there so we're going to buy that and there you go we can drive any of our tractors or machinery up to here and we can repair them or customize them but now is the fun bit i'm now going to travel to the shop um and we're going to buy the machinery that we need so let us go to the shop so what we need to buy is let's open the shop menu so first of all we need a, a small tractor that we can pull stuff with and that has a front loader so we're going to get the Svent 500 favorite i think that's how you pronounce it we're going to go with trelleborg tires and I think we're just going to stick with standard tyres. But we are going to upgrade the engine from 115 horsepower to 150 horsepower. And we are going to add a front loader attacher because this is going to be our front loader tractor. So let's buy this tractor. There we go. <clears throat> now we need to buy a front loader for our tractor and we're going to buy this one over here over here we're going to buy the fz30 and change color can we change it to fent green fent nature green it does cost 200 pounds but it looks better so we are going to buy it like that so we're going to buy that there we go and then we need something an attacher onto it so what we're going to get is we're going to get this thing called a big bag handler and it may sound stupid it's one of the mods but it's way better than pallet forks because for the physics of this game pallet forks just aren't that great it's called the big bag handler and it's basically like tension straps and it allows you to pick up anything pallets logs anything much better than pallet forks so that's what we're going to buy now and it's very cheap only 300 pounds so we're going to buy that okay um next we need a combine now this is going to be the most expensive piece but i'm going to buy the massey ferguson activa 7347s and this is a great combine love it it's quite expensive but we're going to buy it and now we need a header for our combine and headers are in here and the header we're going to get is the one built for this tractor. It's the free flow 25 foot. So 49,000 pounds, we're gonna buy that. There we go. And now we need a header trailer so that we can transport our header down the road. So we're gonna get this one, 4,000 pounds. We're gonna buy that. Now we need, now we've bought all the combine stuff, we need a plow, something to roughen up the soil. So we're going to get another mod. Um, it is the subsoiler. Acts the same as a plow. And we're going to buy that. Uh, next we need a fertilizer spreader. So where's fertilizer? Fertilizer technology. And it's another mod. It is this, the MBA 12,000. So this mod holds 8,000 litres you can do fertilizer and lime which is good 
a 24 meter spread so we're gonna buy that as well um we're gonna go with some michelin yeah michelin tires they look more grippy and i prefer michelin and we're gonna just go with standard so we're gonna buy that and and the next we're going to well finally we're going to buy a cedar so that we can plant some crops and it's another mod it is the john d8350 all the way yep the 8350 it can plant quite a lot of things we're going to stick with standard tires we're going to buy that and that is everything we need to get our farm working so we start from the back cedar fertilizer spreader subsoiler header trailer header combine tractor um what's it called front loader yep that's the one and the big bag handler all very helpful so what we're going to do is we're going to get in these tractors and we're going to connect it to the bits of machinery that we need so we're going to connect it to our forks then these forks we're going to connect to the handler there we go i'm going to raise these up and raise them up and the reason we're going to raise it up there we go um is so that we can connect the subsoiler to the front of this tractor connect that and then we're going to fold that now what we need finally is we're going to take back our cedar because that is the thing that we are going to be using well soonest out of the cedar or fertilizer spreader because there's no point in fertilizing if we're not if there's nothing to fertilize so now we're going to drive all this equipment back to the farm so guys i have arrived back at the farm so now what we're going to do is i'm just going to drive into this shed there we go we put the subsoiler in the back and now i can just i think i'm just gonna we can put away the, the, the um, what's called the cedar, the John Deere cedar. I'll tell you what, we're just going to leave the John Deere there. And now what I'm just going to do is we are going to quickly hop into our combine harvester, which is here at the shop. Now we need to come around here. There we go. So now I'm going to take the combine with the header and the header trailer back to the farm. So I'll see you when we get back. Right, so guys, we have arrived back at the shop. And yeah, I think everything is going well in our farm. We got pretty much everything back apart from the fertilizer spreader. And my next plan is to harvest this field of wheat. Right, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be the end of the video because, um, well, I didn't realise how long it would have been when I recorded it, and it's already been over 20 minutes, so I'm going to end it here, but guys, if you have enjoyed, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all that stuff, and anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.